everyone, it's Denise, and welcome back. Today we're in Fallout 4, and I wanted to show you some new bunk bed designs that I have made that were uh, part of my bunk bed designs that I uh, put up a couple of years ago, and I had never gotten around to making more designs, and so now I finally have, so I made some loft beds. Thank you, Nikita. For letting me know exactly what those beds were not necessarily bunk beds but different um, kind of bed designs maybe you guys will like and you can recreate for your settlements so I just want to show them to you real quick this is all vanilla no mods uh, just to let you know and I did decorate it as well and so just let me know what you guys think if you like them or you think they're stupid or unrealistic or whatever, I, I love to hear all your feedback. So here's one of the loft beds. They've got um, a computer, uh, or not a computer, a desk down below so they can, they can do their work down there. And uh, then they can sleep in the little upstairs part. Get a little sitting area here. And yes, I put those hangers on there by hand. I would have put a lot more uh, there, but I just couldn't find any more. Uh, not in enough time to make the video anyways. So there's a, a bed on the bottom with a sleeping bed, or a sleeping bag rather. Uh, for extra, you know, in case they have a visitor or whatnot. Little alarm clocks and leftover donuts, maybe. And I just try, try to cram as many in here as I could without it being too clumped up. Uh, this one over here I made, I really like. It's made out of suitcases. Oh, it's not very realistic, but it's cute. <laughs> maybe, uh recreate it with a, a little stick in the middle there to support it or something but I thought it was already the bed part was already too small so I thought if I put a stick there it would kind of get in the way of their sleeping part or whatever their sleeping area rather so decorate all this over here just for just for fun and try to make it look more uh, lived in but it's still like on display like hey you want to buy this or maybe it's just like a bunkhouse I don't know this has got four sleeping bags on the bottom so I guess four people could sleep there technically and then it's got one on the on the upstairs part or two yeah two I glitched in two there just to be able to cover the floor. And most of these were built with using the pillar and the group select and just manipulating the pieces where you want them to go, uh, pretty much. Um, and there's plenty of videos out there that, that show you how to do that kind of stuff if you're not familiar with it. Or maybe new people that are just you know coming across my videos and whatnot uh, the only reason I haven't done videos like that is because there's so many videos out there like that already and uh, I just don't want to make any any more that's uh, you know it's talking about the same stuff over and over again I guess I don't know I'm not always the best ex at explaining things either, so. Uh, but this is made of the Creation Club lockers, so they just, they'll just they just use this side here to, to crawl up there. And uh, you can remake this with the vault Tech lockers if you don't have Creation Club stuff. And basically all I did there was just raise the bed up into the air, and then the lockers fit in there on their own. They didn't have to... Uh, you didn't have to like glitch them or anything they just went in there on their own or I mean you didn't have to use the pillar to position them or a rug they just went in there on their own 
Uh, this little funny doghouse bunk bed. I always get a kick out of that. It's pretty funny. I really like this one. The hitching post on top of a hitching post with the mattresses. I really like that. how that one turned out. Uh, now these table ones are a little bit smushed. If you if you wanted to, you could raise this top table up and then put some of the the posts from the fence uh, fence area and raise them up a little bit. That way they'd have a little bit more wiggle room. And here's one that I made out of the tannery hides. These don't perfectly stack, so I kind of put this one. You know, I had to offset it a little bit and so I put the bookcase there so it looked like it was supported but these came out looking pretty cool too they've got a little bit more rustic look you know and if you wanted to you could stack this another too high and make the bed up even higher of course then you'd probably have to use the taller bookcase on the side and this, here's another little uh, loft bed over here and we've got dog meat down below there glitching which is always fun and cool and just a little chunk decoration here and there so I've been out of the loop for a while guys so let me know if any of these designs you've seen or if anyone's done anything like these before um, I know I'll be showing some other ones from other people's channels uh, that will reference uh, back to some of the ones in, in my part two and part three. I've got tons of other ideas on <laughs> to do more uh, bed designs. So I hope you guys are doing okay and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.